How you doing? I thought I would show you some visual aids. Why do you want to use visual aids? Because it helps you remember things better. If somebody tells you some instruction, you know, get on your side, don't lay flat on your back, that's one thing. But if you can remember an image, it's going to be easier for you to remember in the heat of the moment. So I tell my students, you know, when you're in the bottom, say mount, you don't want to be flat on your back. If you're on the bottom and you're flat on your back, you're basically like a hardcover book. So you provide a nice level, really comfortable surface for your, your partner, your opponent, I mean, to pin you. And then they pin you, and it's going to be really hard to get out of that now. So instead of being a nice flat surface like that, we want to curl up almost in a fetal position. We want to be an unstable unstable surface for them. We want to be more like a ball. So when we can become a ball instead of that book, now when our, our opponent tries to pin us, they're going to just fall off one way or the other. So this, the structure of our position is going to do all the work for us. Which way are they are going to fall off? It depends on where they're leaning, where the pressure is, this type of thing. But the pressure is going to be off of us and, and we're not going to have to pick them up and heave them someplace. We're just going to have to tilt them and roll them a little bit and get them off of us. So, so let's, let me show you how this might work out in actual grappling. So if I'm flat on my back and my opponent is on top of me, he puts all his weight on me, it's really hard to breathe and it's going to be really hard to get out. If I manage to get all the way up my side, and now I'm more like a ball I'm curled up here, he can put all his weight on me and you can hear my voice, I can breathe much more easily than I would have otherwise. And how can I escape? So he's going to hold on to me a little bit. I can tilt him one way, maybe I can tilt him another way over my head, everything gets easier for me to escape. I'm using less energy. I'm, I'm occupying the position of the fulcrum. I'm directly underneath my opponent more. It's going to be easy for me. It's going to give me more options. Wherever they're weak, wherever their position is weak, I'm going to be able to take advantage of it, and I'm going to escape. So remember, don't be a book, be a ball when you're on bottom. Thanks very much.